Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Strikers, or Persona 5 Scrambles, as it was originally called. It's weird. Um, off screen, I didn't do much outside of save. Um, I decided I'm going to keep my bond points, because I do believe we will be unlocking some new bond skills soon. So I kind of want to have those ready just in case I kind of want them. Um, that being said, I did look up online a few things that are missable. So, yeah. Hold on a second. Alright. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do off screen. Alright, so we have things to do before we talk to Sojiro. Ah, did you hear? Here we go. Big Pimp. Alright. Let's talk to On first. That's why I hope uh, she just doesn't give on her dreams. Keep that too. Let me go stop you leave. I'm really pumped. We better make the most of it, right? But a whole bunch of games. Let's play some along with. Yeah. Travel game set. All right. I'll be at you know where. Let's celebrate. Oh yeah. Let's go. Don't forget one of their um uh hide one of their not hide one of their um uh. Yuji and Ren's uh, hangout spot was a ramen shop. I think we're going there. Hey, if you don't, you should come with. All the calories. Well, I guess I'll come along since Ren's here. <sighs> ramen. Shit's the bomb. That's what I'm talking about. No ramen, no life. <laughs> Yeah. Brings me back. <laughs> I still have yet to have, like, authentic ramen. I've only ever had maruchan or, uh, cup ramen. Um. I know it's really good. <laughs> because, you know, anything made fresh is always better. But god damn, it looks so good. Must be happy reunion, yeah. yeah. You love ramen that much? Well, it is good, though. I, I can eat this forever. Man, eating this reminds me of the original fan of Thieves. Back when I was just us three. Hey. You mean us four? I was there too, you know. I remember you ate too much and ended up feeling like crap. You were the same way. Oh yeah, their first, um, hey. after the first heist. Hey, show me the ramen. Ooh. Oh, so this is what ramen is. Looks good, right? Too bad you can't try it. They got extra large ones too. You won't believe how much uh, they stuff to, uh, stuff they put in it. I want to see. Oh. I want to see some extra large ramen. Sure, Yuji. For real? Is that a bowl? That's the story. Do it for Sophia. Awesome. Challenge accepted. Three. Oh, oh Yuji, you dick. Do it. He's sitting there to make sure they eat it. Oh, no. I get the singing suspicion. Um, uh, hold on. I get the singing suspicion that people order the extra large ramen just to take a picture of it for like Instagram or stuff like that, and then just throw it away. Which is why he's sitting there going, "You better eat it." Are you guys done with your shenanigans? I'm down for one more. Woo. Thank you, I learned a lot from that. Good to hear. Uh. Need light down, you think we have any hammocks? Oh, they have any hammocks. <sighs> so, what was just, that basically just was, is a hint to future mechanics. Um, as we go around, we're able to basically do what we did in the main game with Sol- There was- Um, you're able to hang out with your confidants and get fuck ton of uh, bond points with them. Let's come back up. Ugh. God love ramen. Fresh ramen's always great. I've had fresh udon though, and that's that was really good. 
Uh, nothing special. Very well. Very well. Impossible. But Crux was not a snack, right? Yeah. We've got what you um, need. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. So there's no, um, nothing special here in the hometown that we need to worry about. Alright, so do you Big pimp. Yo. Alright, well, here, take this with you. Hope it uh, does some good, uh, does, do you, uh, does you some good on the trip. Make sure you make enough for everyone. Pork, onion, rice. <clears throat> well, time for me to pack up the ride. I'll be, uh, right back. Gonna, yeah, you, you give everyone a call and have them meet here. Hmm. You sure you kids gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. Unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Oh, Commissioner Kaburagi. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. Hmm. I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well, I still owe you for taking me under your wing. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. So you say. And how's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Ma'am. No way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of them. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. It's admirable that he wants to do his job right, but goddamn. Yo, where are we now? Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Tochigi. Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshobu Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries. <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking. Apparently, Gyoza is pretty big there, too. But Tonomi is supposed to be the place for it. You see Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna get some, right? Now, I've had Gyoza before, and those are fucking good. Like, holy crap. Um, you may know them better as uh, dumplings. Um, they're kind of similar, but goddamn, are they delicious. Oh. to get excited about <laughs> it's understandable we could all use some time to unwind every now and then and besides we've already discussed it we could just go straight to hokkaido but we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one and there might be jails in other cities besides shibuya and sapporo not only that but the supposed monarch of sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th we have the time there's no reason we shouldn't make use of it Have a point. Wait, say we find a jail before that. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. Yeah, 
Seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. There she goes singing again. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Han. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? I have my license too, so I can always drive if you want. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll try to handle as much of the driving as I can. Does anyone else have their license? I don't. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well-rested. So you're going to keep driving, Makoto? I think so. For the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, since you asked. Do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay. I'd be happy to. There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Lunch by a river, huh? Oh man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Yo, this spot is perfect! Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Seriously? Oh, and this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Shall we get started, then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Cooking lunch with everyone. All right. We'll leave the main course for you. Which is fair. Um, we did work at the cafe, and we did learn how to create um, uh, the famous LeBlanc curry. Fun side note: there actually is an official uh, Japanese, an official Japanese curry um, for LeBlanc from this game. Um, it, it looks really good, and it even comes with uh, well, not with coffee, but it recommends a coffee blend to go with it, or to be served, or to be cooked with the. Uh, uh, I don't want to call it sauce. With the curry itself as well. Which is very on par because that is actually what gives LeBlanc curry its um, famous kick. Alright. At the hideout, you can use ingredients to cook food. These dishes can restore HP and SP or grant buffs, among other special effects. You'll be able to cook more, re more dishes as you learn recipes. You can obtain recipes from regional shops or through certain events. So make sure you keep an eye out for so, um, these are the things I mentioned earlier that are missable, the recipes. There are quite a few of them that are, um, tied to story progression events, but we can get recipes, uh, in regional areas from local stores for a price or doing certain events. Um, if you do miss a recipe from a shop, you can find it in Sophia's shop later, but it's going to be a lot more expensive. So make sure you get them uh, while you're there. This is also the best way to get fucking SP healing items. I mean, look at that curry. Look at that coffee. Ugh. And each of them do have their own unique recipes as well. Uh, ingredients. A simple dish in the basis of any good curry recipe. I haven't had curry in years. has been prepared. We're ready whenever. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. Indeed. And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? <laughs> Sorry, Nari. The great phantom thief Utaba just swiped the very last plate. Last? Oh, come on, don't act so depressed. 
It's not like it's the end of the world. You will. Please do. Ah, oh, that was killer. I can't even move. I'm being 100% serious here, by the way. If you guys ever have a chance to have, like, authentic Japanese curry, or even uh, um, Indian curry, get it. It is so good. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a glutton. I love food. Curry is just so good. Ugh. If you want to mellow it out, if it's too spicy for you as well, you can also mellow it out with some chocolate. It helps uh, makes it a little more sweet and mellows out the spiciness if you put too much spice into it. I'm full too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? I'm down. Ooh, why don't we roast the marshmallows later on too? Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? What of it? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. I also think the first time you make something, you get a boat boost to bond, especially if people if the people like it. I feel like we've been on the road for a while. Where are we now? We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes. We should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always Beef Town. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Uh, I want to take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Um, well, what should we do? This is where I come in. Searching. Overnight parking lots, Beef Town, Date Matsumune, and nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll plan the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masu... Huh? Huh? Hmm? What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Whoa, for real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet, and that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya. Alright then, we're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. A trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. And by the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so... 
We should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. I actually think you could actually do a actual road trip in Japan based off the route they take. It's kind of cool. Uh, as a fun side note, uh, this is an actual location in Japan, as is the story of Date Masamune. Uh, or the father of Date Masamune, I should say. Um, where is it at? The city of Sendai was actually founded in uh, the 1600s by the Date dynasty. Date Masamune owned it. Or his father did. And handed it down to him. Hold on, let me read the says. The father of Date Matamuse owned lands in Yonazawa Castle in Yamagata province. But in the year 1584, he handed over power to his 18 year old son, Masamune. After suffering from smallpox, Masamune lost one eye and for that was named the One Eyed Dragon. For his merits in battle, Masamune was awarded with land where the, the city of Sendai is now by uh, Tokugawa Yasu. Um, in Sendai City Museum, items that once belonged to Masamune are on display, such as his armor, personal items, letters, and portraits. Near the museum, there is a metal bust of the city's founder, which is the statue that, um, uh, not Ryuji, Yusuke is talking about. Uh, let's see here. After visiting the castle, you can walk up the, walk up the steep road to, uh, Ioba Mountain, where the castle used to stand. The castle itself didn't survive the fires of 1882, nor the bombardments of 1945. Now there are only stone walls and a corner watchtower remaining. On the grounds of the former castle, there is an equestrian mount monument to uh, Date Masamune facing the city's panoramic view at the foot of the mountain. So yeah. Real place, real story, real person. Really cool. All right, while we're here, I got a lot of bond points. <coughs> Excuse me. So, enables the creation of more foods with stronger effects. Yes, please. Again. Again. Jeez. Um. No. Again. Bond maxed. So this is the max I can get with this. This means I, whenever I create food, it will always give us the best possible outcome. Uh, let's also jack this up a bit. There we go. All right. Let's go. There it is. Dragon in all his glory. Indeed, I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day. And... Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? This, by the way, plastering um, advertisements over the statue, like this. That would get a motherfucker arrested. That is a, uh, that is, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Defacing a historical landmark. Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain. Let's take them down. better well have you said yes now that i've seen the great masamune 
My apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, deep tone soup. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. What? That's good. Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! Uh, uh, I think Kisuke's crying over here. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey, let me have some too. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. I just have to split some with you. You weren't the dude? Too bad. Just gotta make do with the smell. <sighs> Don't be such a pig! I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? Oh shit! Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. You're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud! Oops, sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... No, dude, she is just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. Huh. What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry. I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? I see. So you'll be taking your college entrance exam soon. Decided on a university yet? Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Chinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. See, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Ah, uh, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of char on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! Oh my god! Oh, this food is working out just perfect. I was home yesterday. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read 
Captain Enzi in his uniform be at the station today. There's no way I'm missing that. All right, let's finish eating. And quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. Something about eating beef tongue doesn't sound that appetizing to me, but I would imagine it would be super fucking tender, though. I mean, it's just basically a big fucking muscle. Ooh, I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Well, if you're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Well... I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah, <laughs> good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsume-san, your lady says she was just a face that you throw away. Natsume-san, over here. Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I, I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? <laughs> Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps... A handshake. Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. I want to punch this motherfucker so bad. He has a copy of his own book, pre-signed, and assumed random people are fans waiting for him. Holy hell. Um, okay. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. Got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? I love this voice actor. He makes me want to hate him. Fucking hell. <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, it's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure. But the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. 
wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised, is all. How did a jerk like him get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Huh, I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. Well, just legit just what pumps that motherfucker in the face. Alright. Uh, do we have any shops around here? We do! Oh, and there's the velvet room. Hey. Damn it. That's, what I That's a cute Yukata. That's adorable. Or is it a kimono? It's cute regardless. Can I check the shops here yet? I think I can only do it tomorrow. I'm not sure if you can actually do this in uh, the real world equivalent of this place, but if you can, it's kind of cool. They even have chopped wood for uh, campfires. Great, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city, so yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kinda nuts, right? Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives, just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. But the worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. Are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self restraint. And the fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. Looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed. Just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Come on, guys. Are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this?
You're missing the point. Forget it, Ryu. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you better get some rest. Yeah, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. It's a nice station. Let's score some leads that, on that smug bastard. Aww. Take it down, Notch. You're, <laughs> you're bouncier than a green schooler on summer vacation. Are you alright, Futaba? You're, are you not a morning person? I didn't sleep much last night. I can't get comfy without my usual pillow. Mood. Oh. Hmm. Well, it was our first night sleeping in an RV, in the RV, so I suppose it's not. It's no surprise. She'll use it every time, I'm sure. Station is really busy for a weekday, so maybe because everyone's out from school. Hmm. The shopping arcade is only a short walk away. The Tanabata festival decorations are apparently a popular attraction for sightseers. Tanabata, really? Um, although it's not really, it's called it's the Star Festival. Um, Tanabata is basically similar to Japanese Christmas. Kind of. It's a bit different, um, but it, it, it's it's kind of like that. Uh, there's a, there's a whole mythological lore around it, um, but it's still pretty cool that they reference Tanabata. Oh, I see. Sendai's Tanabata Festival is coming up soon. Seems there's plenty of shops to draw a crowd. Perhaps we try asking around there. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can look up Tanabata. Tanabata. Uh, Tanabata, also known as the Fe uh, Star Festival, takes place the seventh day of the seventh month of the year, when according to a Chinese legend, the two stars, Altair and Vega, which are usually separated from each other by the Milky Way, are able to meet. Uh, you're able to uh, make a wish in uh, that type of stuff. It's a pretty nice. It's it's a nice story. Hmm? All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Take a look. Increase the showtime gauge. Thank you very eh. much. It's corn. All right. Uh, over here. Oh yeah. Take again. All right. Quick recipes. Some quick recipes can be sold in local shops. Don't miss the opportunity to buy them whenever you find them. If you miss out on any recipes, it is still possible to buy them from Sophia's online sh uh, shop. However, uh, be aware that there are they will be much more expensive. Like I go, I think it goes from like this to 20k. So keep that in mind. What a coincidence. Wait, ordering... Let me join you. Here yeah, the beef tongue, when softened in stew, is simply divine. What in heaven? I said earlier that it should be pretty tender because of the uh, being meat, but, uh, uh, muscle. But it's mostly the fact that it's, it's a tongue, it's fat. Is that all? Yuta. Thanks a bundle. Which is... Beef tongue. Thanks a lot! You do need to buy ingredients to cook everything. <laughs> Wish I could run out here. Oh, I can't do that, I guess. Hi. 
Hey, Lavenza. Welcome. Anything special? Welcome to the Velvet Room. You wish to strengthen it, performing a fusion. Nope. I'll worry about that later once I get into actual uh into the jail. Hey, Yuji. Uh, they're apparently called streamers in Sendai. They're known as being topped a large ball called Kusudama. Some of them celebrated in July. Oh, interesting. By the way, uh, can I go into this shop? Looks like I can. Oh, this one. I'm talking to you. Oh, so, I'm not a big fan of chocolate. I've mentioned this before. Um, I mostly only like um, Pocky, which is like wafers with chocolate covered over top of it. Wafer sticks, I should say. But I love chocolate bananas. They're really good. Want something out? Uh, no, no, it's with all the different stuff that's moving around. Fish is the worst. Almost fooled. I saw a place with Yutan ice cream that also sells chocolate bananas. Oh. Mm. I've had a chocolate banana in ages, too. Bamboo, Monaka, Yokan, Gutan ice cream. Ugh. Beef tongue ice cream? Ugh. That sounds repugnant. Pineapple. Oh, chilled pineapple. That's a pineapple upstairs. I should probably get some. It's like hotcakes. I tell you, it's all things nuts to me. Allow me to take your order. Uh, let's see here. Last minute patch. Increase the SP and agility. Hmm. That could actually be good to have. Thank you. Have you made? Thank you. I shall await your return. Something is amiss. Start to see my characters. I seem hollow. I also have pears upstairs. Oh. Try to get some of that too. Yeah, get some of Fried noodles. Yakisoba is really good too. I just ate dinner and now I'm hungry again. Fucking hell. Nasty. Right, what's down over here? We've got what you need, so that's Yes. Can you hold we recommend that? Can you hold so that's what you're getting? So that's what you're getting? Thank I'm just gonna so buy the shop out of uh, ingredients. Thank you, Bear. We recommend that. Thank you. So that's what you're getting. Thank you, Bear. We recommend. Thank you, Bear. There we go. Thank you. And Big Bang Burger. How can I help you? Big Bang Burger, Saturn fries. Oh, they're onion rings. That's cool. Seriously, why has no one uh? actually done this. Make an actual Big Bang Burger. It's a perfect idea. Applies Mart Ma Matarukaja effect. So it gives us all an attack buff. That's cool. Here's at least all the stuff. At first they're all stiff. I was too warm for <laughs> True. Oh, it was like a fucking sheep. People no call, no showing, or even ditching their shifts partway through to pick up more copies of their books. Could it be? Ugh. It's a hamburger from local chain using only local ingredients. Oh, cool! Oh, the Yotham, the Yotham burger. Nice. Stop it. Got fast shovel this time. Hmm. 
Greetings. Stay safe. Oh, well, I've talked to everyone here. Between me and I. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you uh, take your wish, you drop it on a uh, bamboo stick or bamboo uh, sprig, and it's supposed to uh, bring your wishes up to the gods who grant it. Kind of, something along those lines. Alright. Oh, the stuff going on over here. Hmm? My honey pie. We sort of love each other here. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> read out the words, read out the words. We swore our love to each other here. <laughs> Not we swore to love each other here. Like, uh. You do you, boo. No. Hey, hey. I don't see anything else. The other rumors, uh, huh? Oh, there's more, uh, bumble bumbles over here. By every last one, then maybe. Oh lord. What did you say? Really? Uh, the bookstore's uh, in a mall named Porto. Well, I've got all the rumors I can. Six now. How's it going? Come shop with us again. It went down here. In no. I don't think I can head back to uh, the other area. I'm uh, missing. Let's see if I can figure it out. Let's see here. <coughs> see you again. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, let's see here. A supermarket. Okay. Um, where is the supermarket at? Over here. These two I missed. Social media account. If she got depressed, her last post did mention how she's tired of trying to make her voice heard in a vacuum. Oh, they're implying. Oh, they're implying something nasty. Give me. Where's my tea? I need some tea. Hey, be careful, uh, we're talking about Sogo Natsuma's grandson here. You'll be flamed if you talk about him carelessly. 
So it sounds like Ango uh, has, or Natsume has been uh, living off his father's reputation, or grand his grandfather's reputation, and sort of coasting, and is releasing work that is either ripped off or inspired by other more prominent authors. And just due to the fact that he has the uh, nepotism going on, I think that's the word I want to use, um, thanks to his relations to a famous author, people are just kind of like, no. Hey. Done. Sounds good. Leave it to me. That smug bastard's been promoted all over the place. Like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his B word for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san? I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. Okay, so I've mentioned this before. I'm I'm trying to get into writing because I really do have a passion for writing as well. Honestly, if I got to a level of fame like this, where I had signings and all that, which I'd be fucking uh, Futaba right here. I, 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 I'm just like too many people, too many people. I I don't do good with crowds. Um, I'd still do it, but. If someone told me that they love my book so much they bought 50, 100 copies of the book, I would just go, sweetheart, I appreciate it, but you don't need to. Seriously. I appreciate I appreciate the support. Don't bankrupt yourself trying to support me. Just buy the book. If you like it, tell your friends about it. Just take care of yourself, too. I mean, seriously. This is... Ugh, oh, creepy. Of course, I also say this, not uh, not creepy, it's a, a really um, sad, to a degree. Um, I say this, but I also have bought in pretty much every copy of Skyrim. But then again, that's, a uh, semantics. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? The dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a thief. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his P word. Hey, Inari, what's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? Yes. That's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Hmm. How should I put it? 
For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging in it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. lifted from an anime from two years ago. The words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one! Sheesh. This one, too. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he's ripped off and strung together? If the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a friggin' riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is... Unless the fans had their desires stolen. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? If this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? In all honesty, I'm not sure myself. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Nice ride you've got here. So, there's a difference between being inspired by another's work and stealing it. In uh, Natsume's case, when you're inspired by someone's work, you just go, wow, that's actually a really interesting idea. I like it. I wonder if, uh, if, I, can change my, if I can change my thought process to pay homage to it or something like that. Stealing it is just... Hey, that, that's popular. I'm gonna do that, but, you know, just change the words a bit. I, I agree with Yusuke in that regard. God damn. Why, why you even start it? All you're gonna do is just steal the work from everyone else. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How do you know there was a jail here? About that. I smelled it. Hmm. You smelled it? Anyways, have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around. And here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Atsume's using the same power. Well, in that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab this shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Yeah, right. 
Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, uh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? See, she's really calling herself. Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares, passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means you're crashing a party. Hey, that sounds fun as hell, don't you think? Nobody's gonna care what you're wearing. Just pretend you work in the industry or something. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps' son. Come on, guys, at least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Sophie down there just swip Thank you all twisting a knife. Thank you much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story or two. And voila! Someone punch this motherfucker. Please. For example, Take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth? Fiction? Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, you mean the Sayuri. Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. <sighs> Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? <sighs> Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm all right. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd. There's a good chance he won't recognize me. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? <laughs> uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <laughs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind.
to receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense! Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma Natsume-san? Of course! With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The key word is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me. In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting is crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't... I merely spoke the truth. Now, you'll excuse me. Got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? <laughs> so less dribble? That little bastard. What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just uh looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get you. Shut up! The best part of it all. Since Natsume didn't do any of the work, he knows he's not a genius. So every time they try to console him, he knows it's bullshit. So it's just twisting that dagger a little bit deeper. Oh, good use, Yusuke. Apologies, I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. Dude, don't sweat it. You worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well... For what it's worth, we all love seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Yusuke might have been acting calm just now, but he seemed rather sad. Why was that? disrespect something important to you it makes you more sad than angry at the very least Yusuke seemed to feel that way I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now thank you for explaining that to me I've been waiting for you 
The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. So now we can give buffs to our personas. Like, I think it's just flat uh, buffs. Powering up bo uh, skills with Bond. A new set of Bond skills have been unlocked. These allow you to strengthen the skills of your persona. Uh, be sure to take advantage of this new power in your future battles. May luck be on your side. I'll bring Curry next time for you, Lavenza. Oh, God, that motherfucker pisses me off. I'm so tired. Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. That's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. We're heading into the Sendai Jail. Hey. Which we'll do in a bit. Uh, well, okay, cool. Once you think everything's getting ready, let's meet the hideout and infiltrate the jail. Alright, hmm. so. She's six points, lovely. Let's see. Hmm. Let me double check these. Uh, yeah, it just gives us a, a flat buff to some of our stats. That's awesome. I want to save this till I get that, so I need four more points. So I'd say a uh, level or two should do it. Yeah. Alright, um, there is a few things we can grab. Hi, welcome to stop by again, okay? Uh, let's save real quick. Oh, let me do that. I'll just add this. Let's save. We've been going for a little bit, so I want to do one thing before we head out. And that is to find the Cafe Blue. This. No. Sweet shop. That's it. Oh, I guess this is it. Yeah, Cafe Blue. Uh, we want the Solomon Bowl. That's what you like. Here you are. Nice. <laughs> cool. Stop by again. So we now know how to make the Solomon Bowl. Solomon Bowl. Solomon. Solomon. How do you pronounce it? Hello, dear. <laughs> Let's see if I can pronounce this. Yomigi no Tsuki. Are a few other shops. Let's see if there's anything special. Hmm? Which way to dance at night? Manta, Fanta. Don't you want a Manta? Then this shop. All stats plus one. Arasuku Kaja, nice. Luck increase. Cur perfect. Oh, Tamiko. Uh, maiden. Priest uh, uh, Shrine Priestess. <laughs> that sounds like. I want to sit here with a mask. Oop. 
<laughs> and then hold up Sophie for the uh, the, the, the princess. Alright, let's head into the shop real quick. Cook! Can I get anything, can I cook anything new? Ah, the plant coffee! Oh, that's super good. Our, light out, our hideout suddenly turned into the block. Yeah. Alright. I believe, like I said, the first time you make anything, you get a special cutscene and bond increase. After that, it's just you making shit. This one, hmm? hmm? Such exquisite flavor, the stew is restaurant quality, and then some. Delicious. The thing you see in re recreating it, no wonder you're our leader, Ren. You stole the special taste like a true phantom thief. Let's add even more recipes to our repertoire. There we are. Salmon sure, bowl. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. I have to agree. I might even it might be even tastier than the one I've had at, the, at a restaurant. More aromatic too. People get these lunches get oh hold on, let me do we get these for lunch all the time, right? I've seen them all boxed up, but I've never actually uh, had one ready-made. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. I believe um, these two are pretty much the ones you want to go to making, because obviously, you know, single SP heal, full party SP heal, kind of important. And then, uh, Gyutan Stew. Chop! What are you looking for today? Which one? And naturally our shop's been upgraded. Who is it for? So, I'm gonna go through that off-screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this set. I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue from here. And we'll go into... Natsume's Palace next time, or Jail. So, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye! <laughs>